Are you wondering what is Abhi on the massage? At first, it seems like the craziest thing. I certainly thought so at the beginning. It's like, you want me to do what? Seriously? But once you tried it, you'll be hooked. And it is the number one way to get rid of dry skin on legs. Plus, it reduces stress naturally. It's helpful for feeling grounded. And there's just such a huge list of side benefits for this one as well. So stay tuned for what is this Avianga massage thing, and I'll also share how to make this super easy and simple to do at home. I'm Krishna Stewart with Clarice Yoga, your wellness lifestyle coach using Ayurveda and essential oils, sharing simple wellness and healthy daily habits for Ayurvedic self-care. And today I'm sharing my favorite of all the Ayurvedic self-care rituals. We're actually here in my bathroom for this one. So it's Ayurvedic oil massage or Abhyanga. We have a whole series coming up this month on essential self-care um, on this particular tool. And I'll be sharing some seasonal recipes throughout the year and some tips on how to you know, adjust your massage blend for this. So make sure you click on the subscribe button to see these as they are released. So and I'm also going to be referencing the Ayurvedic body types, right? So how to balance all three doshas, Vata, Pitta, Kappa, using Ayurvedic oils. So you can click on that link in the description or the comments to take this super fun Ayurveda test. The link is really easy to remember. It's simply flourishdoshaquiz.com. So the free dosha quiz will give you insights for yoga and Ayurveda and recommendations on the Ayurvedic oils for body massage. At the end, I'm going to tell you how to get some more tips on the essential oils for your unique dosha that you can use with this technique as well. So I have to tell you, I was super resistant to this at first. I understand if you're going to think I'm crazy in the next few minutes. I first learned about Ayurvedic bone massage in an Ayurvedic lifestyle training that I was taking because it is part of the key daily habits of the Dhinacharya, it's called. And I admit, it took me a long time to even try this. I was like, what? So learn from my mistake on this one. Don't take so long because it is definitely worth a try. Once I felt it, once I tried it, I simply felt in love. It's one of those things you wished you'd started sooner in your life. I used to have these incredibly dry, flaky legs, like nothing worked. Um, you could put moisturizer on them all day long and they were, all, they were still dry, right? Um, nothing could touch it. But once I started doing this oil massage technique, my dry, flaky legs are gone. I don't use moisturizer at all anymore. I don't need it. And I live in a really, really dry climate. So that's saying a lot, right? Okay, post below. Are you already an Avianga fan? Or are you game to give this one a try? All right, I want to hear your thoughts before we go into the details. So put that down below. And now let's dive in. So what is Abhyanga Massage? Basically, it's a process of massaging and cleansing your skin daily with oil. I know, sounds weird. But it involves this really light uh, touch massage which helps to release the toxins and it soothes the lymphatic system and the nervous system. Okay? It's incredibly grounding and it helps you to release any anxious feelings and help you feel connected to your body. It boosts your immune system naturally through that stimulation of the lymphatic system and it also, this, um, all of this gets amplified when you add essential oils into your abhyanga oil. Okay? So you can receive an abhyanga massage from a practitioner which is an amazing treat. Highly recommend that if you get the chance. But you can also do this at home every day, right? And get even more benefits um, with that long-term exposure from it. So I'm going to share an at-home guide with you at the end. But now, what happens when you massage with oil? Okay, so the practice of using soap and body wash on your skin when you take your shower, um, when you do that daily, it strips your uh, body of its natural defense mechanism. Right? And it could be contributing to you catching that next cold or flu that you come into contact with. Basically, you're stripping away your protective layer. So the Ayurvedic practice of Abhyanga, or daily oil massage, instead strengthens your body's immune system uh, just as naturally by supporting that natural oil layer on your skin. Makes sense, right? This is your first level of defense. So the oil also cleanses the skin by repelling the dirt so it pulls the dirt out and draws out toxins from your skin surface. So instead of lathering up with soap in the shower, 
Give your body an Abhyanga massage before you get in the shower. And then you rinse off that excess oil with a washcloth. And then after you towel yourself off, you've just had, you've just given yourself three points of loving touch, right? So this is an incredibly um, relaxing self-care ritual and helps you connect to yourself um, and, and just kind of notice what's going on with your, with your body, right? The loving touch feels so good to feel grounded in your body and to reduce stress naturally. Just those few minutes of being present with your body Plus that light lymphatic massage that we do with the technique feels so good, right? So you can check out all the Ayurvedic bone massage benefits in this video. Um, you can list it about as a separate thing because there is a lot of them. Okay, another cue I often get asked about this is what is the best time for Abhyanga, right? The daily self-care ritual can be done either in the morning or in the evening, right? There's no magic rule on this. The Abhyanga massage technique is slightly different with more energizing movements in the morning and relaxing flow in the evening. And for my clients, I create a separate Abhyanga oil recipe for daytime and evening using energizing essential oils in the daytime and essential oils for sleep later in the day. Plus some oils are photosensitive, so you wanna keep that in mind as well for your daytime bed. And of course, what oil should I use for a full body massage, right? Your base massage oil, along with the essential oils that you add, depend on your dosha, right? So for simplicity, you can start with an organic avocado oil, which works great for all of the doshas. And I've put together a kit of essential oil blends that balance all three doshas, the Bata Pitta Kappa and the Seasons, right? So the link for that is in the description. So it's a super easy way to get started with this. And I'm going to go into more detail in a separate video on how to make Ayurvedic massage oil at home. But you can grab the companion guide for that, the essential oil guide for Ayurvedic massage right now. So the link is in the description and in the comments. So at Flourish Yoga, we are all about making your wellness lifestyle simple and easy. So if you have questions about this, join me for next week for the Simple Wellness class. This is a live class where we can talk about your wellness journey, your challenges, all things Ayurveda, essential oils, and it gives us an opportunity to answer any questions that you have personally and talk about this further, okay? So the link for that is in the description. So go ahead and register for that. I can't wait to meet you um, live, virtually live on that one. And don't forget, step one is always to know your nature, right? So take the dosha test at flourishdoshaquiz.com and with the test, you get those recommendations on the Ayurveda essential oils for your dosha, along with some other yoga and Ayurvedic tips for your, for your wellness lifestyle. And the next step after you know your nature is to customize your personal massage oil, okay? So you can get the link to the essential oil guide specifically for Ayurvedic massage in, in the links in the description below. And then if you'd like to see all of this in print, you can access all that too on the blog with the best self-care rituals for your inner goddess. The links are all in the description, right? So coming up next is a video on Abhyanga massage technique, all the how-tos and the tips for that, and a special video on how to make your Abhyanga massage oil at home. Okay, this saves you so much money, and you can personalize this for your dosha, for the season, what's going on in your body, and it's a lot of fun just to make these on your own. So make sure to like, subscribe, follow, share, do all those things to learn more and help others find this too. It'd be so greatly appreciated. And you're going to love this amazing self-care ritual. It really does make you feel like a goddess. Namaste.